Hey, thanks, Bizarri, for uh, following me on.
10 o'clock. Thank you, uh, Mr. Celestial, for the sub. Most viewers that have the channel concurrent, I think, was 5,200, maybe. <sighs> Two pack. Thanks for the host. Appreciate the support, Bobby8084. The person that noted similarities to Hella and Thor. Interesting uh, locations. Mason's still awake. Hold on, I gotta talk to her, bud. Text Mason, hey, it's time for you to go to bed. Have a good night. Dot, dot, dot. Send a text message to Mason, hey, it's time for you to go to bed. Have a good night. Dot, dot, dot. Feiertag in Germany. Is it? What? Oh, yeah. Good Friday, obviously. Zoom in on the face? I, you know, uh, I can't, no, it's, it's on a set vocal length, too, so. of uh, the screen. I just realized I'm uh, Kate, am I streaming at uh, is it 10.30 tomorrow? Or 11.30? Kids are fully Alexa conversant. conversant. When I say my kids, my, I'm talking about my four-year-old and six-year-old. They, they talk to Alexa all the time. They ask her to uh, tell them stories. And, and they, we've got them ordering toys, uh, music selection. Um, our four-year-old has discovered uh, Speed death metal bands in the Bay Area. I mean, it's crazy. I'm like, where'd you find this music? It's like, Alexa. We have an almost done counter. No! <laughs> the, almost, the, the almost done counter, yikes. You guys are out of my tricks. I have a bad habit of 
they're saying that's almost done, almost done. And then that lasts for hours. Because in my head, I'm like, it's almost done. This looks almost done. Doesn't this look almost done? Night 15. Dude, I'm, I'm falling asleep. That does not surprise me. What, that I'm getting tired? I'm just, I just have to be up at uh, the morning to continue, but I'm going to do something different. Although, I probably will finish this and then move on to the free drawing part of it. So I have a day off tomorrow. I have got a meeting with uh, a guy that's going to come and do some work on the house, potentially. Uh, outdoor swimming pool. But other than that, I'm just going to chill at home, maybe watch a movie. Maybe it's hot for us now. Love that movie. too hard but maybe it's just too based in realism they like kind of the, the whimsical nature of PUBG but I, I, I just don't I don't know it's not my thing and luckily my streams don't hinge on games or popularity games yes Beliasa uh, 00 Nine Sage, your art is sick. Are you on DeviantArt? I have a DeviantArt page. I haven't updated in a long time. I just really, for the most part, I just on Instagram at this point and Twitter. Um, I'm not necessarily looking to get other work, and so I just put it up there to share as opposed to creating an online portfolio. And to me, DeviantArt is more a place for people to kind of showcase what they do so they can actually get assignments or projects. So that's not really part of it right now. So this is the costume that she's got, but I wanna, at some point in the illustration, I will have them, uh, they're like fighting to the death kind of thing, and so I'll put some battle damage like this. You know, all the sparks. Forms blue. I don't. I don't think DVR can be taken seriously enough anymore to be used as a professional portfolio. Yeah, you know what? For the for the people in chat, what would you recommend? Do people still use LinkedIn? I mean, I, I still I have a page. I never use it. Every now and then, I get a notice saying, "Hey, you've been mentioned in this article, blah blah blah, or something." But LinkedIn seems more like for executives and business people. Station. Never heard of that. So good. I learn something every day. Art station.
text me. He said, hey, I still hear you. You should be going to bed, man. You should be out. Good night. Text Mason, hey, I still hear you awake. You need to go to bed. Ready to send it? Send it. I'll send your message. That's my dad's voice right there. Kelsey's here. bed playing Fortnite on your phone. Morning, Nolan. Not often, but I do sometimes. At some point, I have to stream beyond this cover of uh, Peace and the Lake Como Comics Fest, and that'll, uh, that'll probably be um, the, the, the um, Batman, Batman piece. Also, Batman with Nightwing. See them all kind of in a circle, like they're being attacked all around and in the foreground. Some sort of villain, uh, in the far background, uh, Clayface, uh, Joker off to the side. Uh, I can visualize it, but it might be too, it might not fit on a, on a page. It might be more of like a double page spread kind of thing. So that won't work. In which case, I'll default to. slots uh, taken for Chrome, I think uh, we have four. I think the goal is to take on six. But four is good, good movement, as they say. Do you guys like to see the commission pieces done in front of you? whether it's in person, like live, or on stream, or do you prefer it when artists uh, do the pieces at home and then um, bring them and deliver them to you at the, at the conventions? <coughs> you make some pretty nice keycaps.
Oh, Tiny T is a uh, is the one is female. Wow. What do you stream? Wait. Miss Mika Mika. Oh, Dodger shirt. Well, who do you root for? Baseball season is upon us. Hallelujah. For sure, everyone can answer that question in the stream for you in random mode. Seven. Oof. Shawan. 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 What's happening with my hands here? They're not lining up. I gotta redo it. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, Brian. Appreciate that. Yeah, Krita is actually a really good free, um, um, a, fr a free uh, software. It does a lot of things that are actually really good. But if you can get like Clip Studio, that's kind of very similar to uh, Photoshop. Trans Style 33, good night. Janella is awake. Thanks for the cheers, Janella. Good morning, Scuffner. Ah, uh, Clip Studio? Yeah, you can get it for cheap. Like, I've got it for like $15. I think it was like 75% off at some point. But it goes around like 20 to maybe, maybe $50. Like, between those two. They're actually really good for prices.
Uh, I'm actually using a, a Wacom tablet. Um, an in I'm using a Cintiq thing. It's just pen to uh, to screen. Uh, it's almost, it feels almost like uh, pen and paper. Not quite, but I mean it's very similar. Uh, I used to have an Intuitio 3, and that was uh, pretty good too. But you can get a bunch of different ones. That does not have to cost you like a an arm and a leg, because price is too high. There's um, the Yuyon Cintiq, which is like 500 bucks. It's really actually really good. I never tried it, but a lot of people use it. It's kind of an alternative for uh, any type of that sort of art stuff. The weirdest thing I've gotten signed. If you want to do yeah. something cool. The weirdest thing I have signed. Besides body parts. Uh, I signed someone's car. Uh, that's weird, but I don't know if I would have someone sign the outside of the car. Um, okay, car. cool. Yeah, they sell like uh, Cintiqs too. And it's actually really cheap price range. It's actually pretty good for uh, for what you get. You have uh, your work somewhere? So I have signed promo cars, that's We Can Be Heroes, but no, this is a store signing in Vegas in the 90s. Someone had a white Bronco, it wasn't, it wasn't OJ Simpson, but they wanted me to sign it. I'm like, yeah, you know, this is a permanent marker, and they're like, yeah. But the uh, cover, the shellac or whatever on a, on a car is so dry, I think you can wipe it off. I wouldn't test it out on my own car, but... Oh, that's cool. Where do you live? Hi, right, thanks for following me up, man. Okay, cool. What time is it over there? Is it not like in the AM or something like that? Yeah, I would say Photoshop is my my main thing. There's nothing better than Photoshop, in my opinion, because there's so many options you can actually use 
for modifying your image and there's so much control off of like different things oh it's 10 a.m oh cool i'm actually 6 a.m i didn't go to sleep yet i've been drawing this all night probably spent like six hours on this thing for tonight but you know what i mean like a couple of days i've been doing us this, this piece But yeah, Photoshop, I would say, is the best one in doing a lot of different things. Yeah, pretty much Pirate Ranger. <laughs> Thanks, man. Trying to do my best. It's for a um, an art piece for a, a comic book. But it's for the in-art stuff in the comic book. It's not for a cover. I did some covers before, but... This is just for uh, adding some content to the book, the book, just because it's uh, it's extra stuff for the book. And he wanted to add some art stuff from different artists in that book, so he asked me to do one. So I said, yeah, of course. His work is really cool too. Like he's really good at what he does. It's cartoonish, but um, it works well. No, it's actually basically a commission. He's gonna add this in this comic book called uh, Brain Slug. Um, it's really cute, actually. Just give me two seconds, I'll show you what it is. He has a webcomic thing going on. Yeah, absolutely. I have an art station on online and most likely my work, you can find them through uh, through Facebook that's pretty much the only place I put my stuff because I always get stuff and I add like new uh, content and stuff but no I'm gonna I can show you a couple of my work that I'm actually recently doing right now uh, just uh, give me two seconds there I actually posted brain slug the comic book that he's working on and I'm actually doing this for him one page art into his book and that's what uh i'll be doing almost done anyways like i'm just adding color on top of the grayscale most of it is pretty much done it's just uh adding some cool colors to it um i have a art station it's in here facebook art station I don't have much of my recent stuff on there, but most likely, um, there is some stuff on there that's, that's within a year at least. Do you have a Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, it's very... His style is very similar. But it's his own thing, right? He's not really influenced too much from those things. Yeah, Stanley. Pretty amazing. 
there's um, Jim Lee online on Twitter. I don't know if you've seen me on there, but uh, Jim Lee is like really cool too. Oh, you have Twitter. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you can go through my images, but uh, if you want to look up my artwork onto my albums, most of stuff is on there. I'm not sure if you can see it though. Uh, worst case scenario, you could I could show you a couple of stuff I've done. Yeah, I'm gonna actually just drag my Facebook. Um, yeah, I did some character for someone. Let's see. Yeah, that's the one here. He wanted a, a monkey drawn. He gave me a sketch, and I made this out of it. It's called Dar uh, Darwin, and he lives on uh, in the desert where it's always a uh, blue sky. And basically, he had a, a very uh, genius mentality, and his partner was a, a woman. But I took the, the, the monkey and I just rendered that up. Darwin, yeah. I don't know why you call it Darwin. Maybe it's because he's Darwin is kind of a smart dude. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, what else do I have here? Um, I did a character for a website. It's kind of a video game thing. Just recently done that. From one of the, the guys that I know. He lives in Montreal. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's just a lot of drawing, man. That's that's pretty much what it is. I like doing this type of thing. I did some character designing with it, and he chose uh, the last one. But it's different, different uh, designs. I personally like five because it has a more dynamic thing. But um, number ten, that's what he wanted to. Uh, um, also did uh, I don't know if you're a fan of Sailor Moon if you, uh, uh, here. yeah it's basically the airbrush tool but it's the paint tool right so I mean Photoshop uses just paint but the paint thing has also like brushes that act as a brush airbrush thing and most likely that's the only thing i use is the airbrush but i have like a somewhat hard edge to it but still smooth to it it's a brush set that comes from uh from uh from a big artist that works in in the industry and he shared his uh his brush set and i I kind of just uh, look it up. All right. I did some uh, Sailor Moon thing. It's for the convention coming up. The Comic Expo, which is almost like a Comic Con. Uh, quick sketch. No, that's what it is. Sailor Moon, I really like uh, Sailor Moon because it's almost like Dragon Ball Z, so I decided to do one of those. Um, it took me about like maybe 40 hours to make. There's the one here. And I can really zoom into it, like... I really go refine those details as much as I can, so I really go into it, right? It's one of my best ones I've done yet. Sailor Moon. I have Dragon Ball Z, different things. They're pretty nice. I'm trying to make another one. It's uh, Sailor Mercury. I'm still working on that. I mean, it still needs to refine itself, but I mean, that's basically the dynamic pose of it. 
Thanks, man. But there's a lot of things on that's kind of wrong on this one. But I mean, pose, I like it. So I might just go with it. It's always refining, right? The more you refine, the better, the better it's going to look. But obviously, it takes more time to make. Uh, it's Kylander. I, I was drawing um, this dude here. It's a very sketch light thing. But it's from um, Skylander, and this guy is called uh, uh, what? Trigger Appy, I think that's what it is. Anyways, I just wanted to do some random thing. Because the action figures are kind of cool. Yeah, But that's just the sketch. I mean, it just keeps refining itself. And that, that's basically the reference I have to work with. I do all these prints for the conventions. What else do I have here? Uh... Oh, Venom Pool. This one is actually pretty cool. It's some. That's the one that I use on my my channel on Twitch, and basically that's. Uh... I can zoom into it and see all the details in it, which is pretty cool. Big posters like that are really nice. Um, there's another guy that I did. Yeah, it, it, man, yeah, sketches is it's a process to get refined to the things you want in drawings, right? And the more you do it, the better you get at sketching things fast. And then you can kind of refine those things later on. Because when you sketch stuff and that uh, it helps you to get things uh, looking right before you go too much in it and then you realize that you did too much and it's like it's a little bit off on some stuff I also did some armors these are actually really neat like I really like doing those things like armor designs like that one here it's an alien thing but I like doing those things a lot See, yeah, it's, that's what I'm saying. Like, patient will make your artwork look better, right? Just the time you put into it. Obviously, you kind of use the references if you can to help you with that. But, I mean, the more you put time in it, it shows. Yeah, same here. Like, metal is one of the things that I really like to do. That's why, like, doing armors like these are actually really cool. That's uh, almost like a Final Fantasy type thing. I like doing those things. Same thing with that. This one is the recent one I've done. Not sure. It was inspired by a a, a kid's a kid's shoe, like a three years old shoe, and the design was very kind of like this this type of thing. I'm not sure. I don't have the picture with me, but that's what I kind of use as a reference because the design of the shoe was cool. Oh, I never actually. Um, I don't. I don't remember any of the Final Fantasy stuff too much, but uh, Final Fantasy three, the classic ones and stuff like that, are some stuff that I really like to get influence, I guess. But this this thing was just made up just like that, and somebody said it was it was looking like uh, um, yeah, very sad concept from that Dragon Ball Z. I can, I can see it that way too. It's just a little different robotic thing. It's cool. Overwatch a bit in there. Whoops. 
closed my folder. Um, this one is cool. I like this type of dragon-ish ninja thing going on in this one. This reminds me a bit of Final Fantasy. Or even uh, Legend of the Dragoon on the PS1. But more like Final Fantasy. I did some armors for... Uh, Genji Yoshimi, okay. Yoshimitsu, yeah. Absolutely. I'm a huge fan of Tekken, right? So it's kind of like really cool. Uh, what else do I have here that I can. A different design on this one here. Kind of a sharp edges. It's really neat. And different colors too, like you can, what's, what's good with Photoshop, you can change colors kind of fast with just the saturation thing, but Clip Studio has all this stuff too, so it's different colors. I personally like the red one, the purple is cool too, but they're all cool, I like that. This one. I did some uh, Final Fantasy stuff. Inspired armors. Uh, where is it? Oops. Prints done for conventional. These are older works that I've done. Like it's not really recent stuff. But uh, armors, where is it? That's right here. I really like that one here. Final Fantasy. Very dragonish. It reminds me of Final Fantasy 3. Well, actually, I do have uh, the character uh, outlines of the face already made, and I just design stuff on top of it there's um there's videos off uh my twitch that shows the process of doing an armor like this it takes about four hours to make one of those a different one there and they sell quite a lot at the final uh, at the conventions. Yeah, really neat. And these are like really big poster. Like the big poster of this is insane. Those takes this one took me about like seventy hours to make. Haha. <laughs> I guess we do all have time. Too much time. So those are really refined to its maximum that I could in that time. And like if I zoom into it, like that is like basically the super... Like before you see pixels are basically right here. So that's the full zoom of the image. But posters like that is insane like it's the colors are amazing uh you can choose if you want to print them on uh matte finish paper those are very smooth for uh for prints that's 11 by 17 or 12 by 18 but if you want a 24 by 36 they use that specific photo paper that the contrast of the of the colors and the dark are very accurate so it makes it super vibrant when you print big ones like that and it's amazing like the size of those things like it, it shows like all the details i put into it right because the small ones will probably just show this much detail to it but if you have a big one 
it would show you all these little things that's different everywhere it takes a long time to make but i mean it's worth it if you're able to sell them a lot the mega man one kind of made my own but i mean it's the same principle it took me like 70 hours to make i did my own armors for the mega man there's a little bit stuff off on there but i mean for people that like mega man x they like it the yoda is an old one i did this in 2013 and I render the face a lot. Like, this is like one of the biggest prints that I have. Well, it's 23 by 20, 24 by 36, but the actual file is huge. And then you got Ninja Turtles. A big print of this is really nice, too. My own shredder design, I guess, if you want to put it that way. I like doing armor design, so that's why I kind of, I really uh, liked doing this. And you got spawn, that's an old one. But I mean, I really went into this like crazy, like I went, uh, putting all these small dots of white everywhere. I don't do these things anymore that much. <laughs> Thanks, man. It took a long time to make this one there because I really went into like all of it and tried to make the maximum details that I could. But I mean, I don't, I don't do these things anymore because it takes too long. Unless it's uh, something that can really make like a good return for it. You got uh, Howard the Duck. That's the comic book thing. It's pretty sharp. Like if I zoom into it, say that way. Big print of this is really nice too. Cigars. <laughs> Anyways, it's having fun with those things. Fans of uh, different things. The, the Metroid one is pretty neat. It's not super um, refined like the other ones. But, I mean, it's really nice with the colors and stuff. So, I printed big ones with that. Yeah, I should I should probably do it, but the only thing that that have has to do is like the cop copyright infringement towards um, Marvel is is uh, it's owned by Disney and Disney is kind of like really hard on on copyright infringement compared to other companies like yeah comic books like Batman and stuff they don't really care too much. For it as much as what Disney would care for copyright Nintendo is another one that's pretty high on copyright infringement copyright means like you're not supposed to use their stuff to sell on your own it's kind of against it but other than that like Dragon Ball Z stuff anime it's it's pretty neat like see like Dragon Ball Z design That's future trunk. I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z. You've got uh, Manjin Buu. And they're not that super uh, refined. And they're only good for uh, small prints. But I mean, I can go and refine them if I wanted to. But I don't think like there's a huge interest into it that much. takes a long time to make those things but these ones small ones are not too bad you got Goku realistic realistic rendering oh yeah I finished looking at the uh, the last episodes this thing is really awesome like the ultra instinct Dragon Ball Z 
Uh, Goku is just ridiculous. It's really fun to watching those. Yo Jimbo and Ninja Turtles. I don't know if you remember Yo Jimbo. He's a rabbit and he has a sword. Samurai. And basically they did a crossover with Ninja Turtles in the 90s. I think they started doing that again this year or last year or recently, basically. Hey, Jiren. What is Jiren? Oh, yeah, Jiren. Oh, yeah, man, that would be so cool. I should do like Goku versus Jiren, man, on one of those picks. You'll sleep in Sam, that's kind of old. You can see the colors and stuff are not as great as the new ones that I'm doing. Because I didn't understand color too much on that time. And I'm only using one color per tone when you're supposed to use color against each other. But details and stuff are really nice. I think that's about it. Well, this one here is Nightwing, but it's not. It's a little bit off proportion. Well, it comes with practice. I mean, if you shade a lot of things, you're, you're practicing shading. So the mileage would, would show up later on. Like if you, sh if, if you just draw from life all the time and you try to copy the same shading all the time, the same tones, try to copy this exact same thing. Eventually, you'll get a hang of this thing. And obviously, it's going to take time. Like, it could take a year, two years, three years. But it's a lifelong experience. So, I mean, whatever time it takes, and the, how, many, how many hours you put into it will show up later on. I, don't, I never used to draw like this. Like, it's, it's just when I started drawing a lot... I started figuring out a lot of different things. Oh, this is a cover I did for a a book for somebody. Not sure what the title was. Uh, the title was Electronics of Dead Artwork. Machine Against Zombies. That was a illustration I had to do for a book. And it's a bunch of zombies getting killed by a giant machine. That's pretty much what it is. The new stuff is kind of recent. Is uh, I do caricatures and stuff, a bunch of different things. They're kind of funny. These things. It's fun doing caricatures. This is one of the things I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. War Armor is kind of close to it. This type of armor design, I like that. It's kind of alienish thing. Doing caricatures are fun. It just it makes you contort these faces and oh, we got Jim Lee here. Caricature Jim Lee. Ah, uh, Stanley, I mean, sorry. But yeah, Stanley, a caricature. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just practice a lot, right? Shading, if you understand how to shade black and white, you would probably automatically know how to shade contrast with the, the colors, right? Do, do also like color studies. 
Yeah, you just have to kind of add a bowl of like fruits and try to copy the same thing on whatever program you use to paint, right? This will help a lot. It doesn't matter really if the shapes are wrong. It matters the shading of contrast. You want to focus on contrast if you want do tones kind of close to uh, the realism. But most of the stuff I do is black and white, right? Huh, <laughs> Princess Leia here, it's kind of weird, but... Yeah. Princess Leia has like skin tone on there. There's brushes on Photoshop you can have like uh, pores for skin. And it looks pretty realistic to me. And you can have also like brushes for the textures off of the the actual uh, clothing. Mm -hmm. Takes a while to make those things, but but the details of the stuff with the brushes is much easier. It's much faster. You don't have to draw each pore of the face if you want something realistic. And that's the initial sketch that I did off of my board. But I mean, like, the face and caricatures are a little bit off, but I mean, whatever. Having fun. And these are general sketches I do all the time. Um, fast one takes about maybe, like, maximum two hours. That's a design armor that I did recently. I'm not sure when. Probably um, two months ago. Three months ago, maybe. I like doing those things. Uh, this is kind of a Mega Man type thing. It's kind of cool. I like the colors and stuff like that. Like I said, like the colors now are much understood. And that's why I'm able to make those colors pop out a little bit more. Kind of neat. I can refine those things completely later on. Uh, this is kind of weird, but still kind of works. It's almost like a bug creature from another planet. It's kind of cool. Uh, oh, I did some Ninja Turtle stuff somewhere. Oh, that's a different one here. It's a rabbit samurai. An inspired thing from No Jimbo Ninja Turtles. Oh, the, um... Yeah, on the side. It's really neat how it kind of shows that way. A bit of a ratchet and clank type design, I guess. I was doing a sketch for somebody to show you my process and stuff like that. Uh, this is pretty cool too. I like the style of this thing. Bit of design. Uh, this is Squid Sketches. I like this one. It reads well on that one. I don't know why, but it does. Oh boy, it's already 7 o'clock. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, Earthworm Jim. <laughs> That's kind of cool. can't find my Ninja Turtles. There's one there. Oh, yes. I did a wolf character for somebody. He wanted me to draw this. Uh, where is it? I 
I guess I put it back in here. Yeah, the character he wanted me to do. <laughs> yeah, sure, man. Um, I'm pretty close to go to bed anyways. I'll go at like in seven minutes because it's going to be seven. I'm just going to keep showing you the stuff. Um, the wolf that this guy wanted me to draw and I, I did this one here. It turned out really well, like spellingly, because I don't draw a wolf that much. And I might probably gonna do some prints out of this because it's really nice and it's kind of a spiritual thing, I guess. Yeah, I like, I like that portrait thing. But I do requests, right? If you do a sketch, basically, I draw them. But as long as I get followed on... Uh, oh, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah, that's another one that I did. Goku, Ultra Instinct. But, I mean, it's just uh, a quick sketch, right? This would take probably maximum four hours to make. Thanks, man. But there's so many out there that has like so much good skills, like I don't understand. So I don't really take my my artwork for granted or anything like that. It's just that there is a lot of great artists out there that's just uh, mind blowing, and I don't understand. But I get inspired from them, so that's that's what I really like to do. Is to draw almost like them, but not really. Oh, Ninja Turtle stuff, it's sketch, but I, I kind of like it. Oh, absolutely, man. I would suggest to do a lot of life drawing. And if you had like skill before and you draw all the time when you were young, man, get back to it. I mean, nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you like drawing, you'll get better every time you put time in it, no matter what. But one thing I have to suggest is try to draw from life, like go outside, draw some stuff. Draw, draw, um anatomy study those things meet new artists in the industry oh wow i like his colors that he uses in his paintings it's cute <laughs> Tom and Jerry. Wow, this is actually really nice. Almost like watercolor, Ruby.
That's really awesome. I will try to follow him up. Thanks for sharing. His brush set is what? In Krito? Or is it Photoshop? Uses Krita, wow. I might try that up. Why his name? I can't forget his name. Do you know about uh, ArtStation? There's a, a lot of different artists on this. Oh, okay. I'll definitely look it up too for, br uh, for his uh, brushes. Oh, that's cool, Yu-Gi-Oh card. Like almost like a dragon thing. Cool. Why wow, comes somewhat looks like a shredder, but a dragon shredder. That's so cool. pretty much yeah I have to go to bed man but uh, thanks for staying and uh, I'm probably gonna be streaming tomorrow anyways we're all we're we're, we're on a holiday so we got uh, I got uh, two days off uh, three days off actually straight so I'm gonna be off uh, today tomorrow and the next day if you want to stop by and do whatever and some chill outs I'm okay with that. I can probably do a demo for you for uh, how I paint stuff on Photoshop. Just a quick demo thing if you wanted to know how I do things. Cool. Awesome, man. Thanks, man. You have a good one, dude. I'll see you, uh, see you soon. Hey, no problem. 